Okay. Good morning, everybody. Uh, it occurred to me I hadn't even shown anybody the tools I used to train Finley, so we're going to do a video that's more in-depth as to how we train, what we train, how we do it. Um, look at you behaving yourself. Uh, she knows that it's almost time to do some training, so that's why I'm going to Anyway, a few of the tools are going with the electronic collar. Uh, don't let anybody fool you. These things are life and death for a dog. Uh, for example, this dog loves to chase deer. She loves to chase foxes. And she could care less if she had to cross a four-lane highway to do it. So um, this is my last resort. But some people say, oh, that, those electronic collars, you shock your dog. No, I don't shock my dog. Um, as a last-ditch resort, I would shock her um, just to make sure that she doesn't do something that's life and death. The rest of this has a vibrate and a tone. And it's mainly when she can't hear me or see me that I can somehow direct her from long distance. So um, everybody has a different flavor about electronic collars. I absolutely love them. I think it's life and death for the dog. And um, you would not want your three-year-old to all of a sudden lose their mind and run across four lanes of traffic. You wouldn't allow it. You do anything to prevent it. And that's the only reason. Obviously, she doesn't care. She's got to opposite. When that collar goes on, she knows there's good times ahead. We're going to train and chase good stuff. Um, so, second thing I have is a dummy launcher. This is, um, I never really showed anybody, but you put a little 22 cartridge in here. That creates the force to shoot the dummy. And this dummy, when the cartridge goes off, it shoots off of here from pressure. It'll fly with the wind. You can get it to fly about 60, 70 yards. So uh, if you're into the wind, maybe 30, 40. Great training tool because it sounds as loud as a gun, number one. So you can hear a dog of any gun shyness. And uh, number two, you can just throw things that you can't do with a handheld dump. And obviously, we have handheld bumpers. Um, and again, look at, look at you behaving today. Uh, these are for the close stuff to replicate ducks and geese and doves that are real close to you. I always wear this belt because then I can stick everything in it. Oh yeah. So when the belt comes on, she really knows the good stuff's about to happen. Don't you girl? Are we going to go train? Um, as you can see, this is about joy. Uh, I think the final thing I would tell people I see trainers that want their dogs to be perfect. There's no such thing. There's no such thing as a perfect human. And again, I always equate it to two to four year old humans. There's no such thing as a perfect kid. You're just trying to make it joyful, a lot of fun, careful, and she's my buddy. So anyway, uh, I'll try to put together a video that shows kind of everything that we do and the things I'm thinking and the ways that you can impart discipline. Um, not that she's overly disciplined right now, but I don't care. I want her to be having fun. Come around, girl. Up. So it's showing some discipline. Well, now. So that's discipline, but I'm not going to overly discipline myself, and I'm not going to overly discipline my dog. We're going to have a good time while we're doing this. I'm with her. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Good, good. Let's get a dummy. Okay, we got all our stuff. We'll show people uh, more directly, huh? Uh-huh. Good. Okay, now, here we are on the way to train. Again, she's disciplined, but she's excited, too. And I'm not going to ever try to um, get her to quit doing that because she's having as much fun as I do. All right, heel. So here we are. One of the reasons she's jumping at me is I have this dummy under my arm, and she never understands why it takes so long to get a good retrieve going. Um, we are headed down. Let's see if we can do this. Headed down what I call Cyril's Lane. He's nice enough on this Maryland farm to cut um, a, a good walking spot, which uh, in Maryland in the summer is pretty good. There's a lot of nasty, scratchy creatures and ticks and everything, so it's a good way to not catch it. And uh, 
Anyway, we'll keep walking. Show you the diversity of this habitat, why it's so good to train a dog, um, and why she has so much fun here. You having fun, girl? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's how we roll. Always fun. Always joy. <laughs> so fun. Okay, this first training area is um, what we're trying to do is give her what we call a blind, but also one that she can see, which again replicates uh, a duck blind. Ducks are coming in, two, three, four guys shooting. The dog's usually going to hear or see a couple of birds go down, but maybe not hear or see a couple more. So a duck blind's also a very dangerous place because you have anywhere from two to four guns in it. They're all loaded. They got the safeties on. But you can't have an unruly dog running around knocking guns over. It just doesn't work. So it's a combination of teaching her discipline, but also making sure she loves every minute of it. Good girl, won't it? So this dummy, for example, whoa, Mark. Whoa, good. So she wants, uh-uh, you be good. No bird. She wants that dummy so badly, but she also has to be disciplined enough to not grab it. Okay. So let's go to the dummy launcher, girl. We're going to do a blind and we're going to do a long one. So everybody can see as the feathers come out of my pack. This is a handheld dummy launcher. So good because she doesn't know it's not a gun. So all the discipline that you have to impart to a dog is here. But all the fun is too. So we're going to do... Um, Marked retrieve. Okay, Mark. This one's going to be low and really aggressive, so that she has to be disciplined. Mark. Okay, so she heard this go off. She knows the dummy is there. Now, part of the blind is I've got this bumper at my feet. So when I release her, I'm going to throw this bumper a place she doesn't know. And then that way it really replicates a duck blind. Okay, easy girl. And then this one I'll throw over here that she doesn't know about. Find a bird, girl. Find a bird. Find a bird. Find a bird. There you go. Good. Good girl. Hand, hand, hand. Hand. Come around. Come around. Come around. Up. Here, girl. Here, girl. How did you know I did that? Well, that one didn't exactly work because somehow she knew I threw the blind. Um, all right. You're going to work twice? She's so good, she knew I threw the blind, found the blind after retrieving that one. So we'll go from there. Here, girl, hand. Oh, <laughs> you're so funny. Come here, show everybody what you did. Darn dog, you're too smart. So, good girl, good, good. All right, sit. Anyway, it was supposed to be uh, a known and a blind, but somehow she knew I threw the blind. So she went straight and retrieved two at once, which is, I'm not going to try to work that out of her because she's smart enough to know what I'm up to. So sometimes that's the way we roll. But uh, again, we're not seeking perfection. We're trying to achieve excellence. And it's all about the joy. You good girl. All right, drop. My bird dead. My bird dead. So now she knows those are my birds, not hers. Her job is to retrieve them. And the better she retrieves them, the more retrieve she gets to, to do. Well, aren't you just so smart? Retrieving two at once. Uh-huh. How are you going to do that with big geese? How are you going to do that with big geese? Uh-huh. You're so funny. All right. Good girl. Okay. So this next one sit, is what we call a complex retrieve. A lot of dogs really get thrown when they have to cross different terrain. I, um not 100% sure why. Maybe it's just because Finley's so good at, at complex retrieves. But here's a good example. All right, you will, girl. Mark. Oh, no. All right, she's got her eye on it. She knows it went down. And then I just have to wait. See how disciplined she is? That's her job, to wait till the boss tells her, hey, you can go. Okay. Oh, no. Mark. Bing. Good girl. So that bank will normally mess people up. Good. Good line, Freddie. Good line. Good. 
Wow. Isn't that something? All right, sit. Sit. You're going to make me look like a superstar if you keep that up. Okay, dead. My bird, dead. So, this is the hardest part we train through. Uh, I've never seen anything like this dog. Like, when she sees a dummy or a bird or a dummy launcher, it's kind of like giving a human Red Bull crossed with cocaine. Like, her drive is, is unbelievable. I call her my warrior pr princess. And uh, anyway, so our biggest challenge is she doesn't want to give me the bird back because she loves it, which I don't want to take that out of her. It's just a matter of uh, we keep working and, and quote unquote shaping, meaning I'm never going to get that dog to do what I want her to do immediately. You just have to keep working at it. You shape it almost like um, a great sculptor, one little, little piece at a time. And then thousands of reps later, it starts working. So our um, compromise, as it were, is when she gives me the dummy back, um, I tell her, dead bird, my bird, and then she knows she can't have it anymore until I release her on the next one. So, all right, since you're showing off today, huh? Go on out, sit. Okay, easy. See how fired up she is? All right, let's try a tough one. All right, I'm gonna move the camera. You go now. Right. On the scale of complex retrieves, this is even tougher. Okay. Sit. So this is a really complex retrieve where she's getting multiple multiples that can confuse her, but she's getting so good that it doesn't confuse her. All right, Mark. All right, so now she has to cross this stream, swim it, find a dummy on the far bank, bring it back, all those good things, but be disciplined right now before I let her go. Okay, here we go. Marfi. Find a bird. Good. Don't make that so easy, pretty. Good girl. Good. Good. And, and, good. Good girl. Shake it off. If I had a dollar for every time a dog got me wet, I'd be rich. Anyway, good. My bird. Dead. My bird. Dead. Good. So, in a nutshell, I have a disciplined dog who watches, who knows her job, knows what she gets to do, knows what I get to do, and that translates into safety. So, that dog is not going to blow up a dog blind, knock over four guns, get three guys shot, and ruin the hunt because I'm telling her how to do this and what to do. And uh, if you want a dog that's really good, uh, easy. Put in thousands of hours. That's what is required. Okay, let's do one more, girl. Okay, Mark. Easy now. Easy now. Mark. Green. And there she goes. Complex retrieves. That's nothing for her. Find a bird, girl. Find a bird. Find a bird. Find a bird. Find a bird. Not quite there. She knows it's there, but she can't smell it yet. Good girl. Look at you. Look at you. Coming all the way. There we go. Good. All right. That's complex retrieves in a nutshell. Okay. Now let's take complex retrieves to its highest art form. This is where it gets tough for a dog because I'm sending her out on a known, but it's a tough known. I'm going to send this dummy into that heavy brush. I'm going to make it a little easier for her. I'll shoot it low so that she sees the arc of the dummy going in the cover. And when she's out there looking for that thing, then I'm going to throw her a blind retreat. All right, dummy launcher. Let's get a shell in our gun, huh, girl? Huh? Okay. We're loaded. Locked, loaded. All right, Mark. So I'm going to aim at that middle tree and keep it low so that she sees it. Good. Easy now. Bing. And now while she's doing that, because that's not an easy find, I'm going to throw another one across the string. Find a bird, girl. Find a bird. That's a tough one. So now she's got a complex retrieve where I know she doesn't know where the second one is. Back, girl, back. 
Back girl, back. Back. Find a bird. Back girl, back. I might have to help her a little with, with this one, which is okay. I mean, again, all these trainers want to overtrain. Let the dog do what she was bred to do and use her nose to find the bird. And if she's struggling, like right now, I can give her a minute to hunt or I can go out and help her, but I, I want to let her hunt so that she gets more affirmation that, hey, this is how I roll and this is how I'm successful. Find a bird, girl, find a bird. She's real close and she's got it. Good girl, good. Whoa, head her. Here, girl, hand, 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 come on, up, come on, hand, 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 hip it. Good, uh, all right, sit. All right, so now she did a known retrieve, but that's a tough one. Go now. And then we're going to, go now, known retrieve. Let's transition to a blind retrieve. She does not know where this second bird is, but um, come around, girl. Sit. Here, bro. There you go. Sit. Okay. So I've got to try to help her with a better mark. Hang on. Mark. Watch me. Mark. Bing. Back. There you go. There you go. Find a bird, girl. Find a bird. 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 She smells it already. Good. Look at you. You superstar today. Good girl. Good. Come on. Good. All right. Sit. My bird. My bird dead. Good girl. Oh, that's good stuff. Okay, so what I have now, a disciplined dog who's doing her work perfectly. Come on now. Come on now. Go now. And doing blind retrieves, complex retrieves all at the same time while still being disciplined. And that's as good as it gets, isn't it, baby? That's as good as it gets. Um, now we'll move on to some stuff that's a little farther out just so that um, some of the fields in Maryland are literally a mile, half a mile across. So I've got to do open field work so that she knows to take a line and go a long ways and go get it. So we'll move into that too. Good girl. Oh, you did so good. All right, get your dummy. You earned it. Okay, this will be a little long. Sit. Now what I want to do with her here is impart some discipline, see if I can get her to be disciplined knowing there's a dummy out there, but also take a very long line. One of the ways you help the dog with a long line is, well, <clears throat> look at that length, okay? If I cut her loose, she's learning consciously or subconsciously to take a straight line that I gave her to a, a known outcome, which is this dummy. You won't now. You won't now. that dummy badly she knows I have it she knows I walked out there about a hundred yards and threw it but she has to hold which is more discipline while the boss gives away what she wants but the upside she gets to, you know get a retreat heal heal sit okay well now so now I get to give her a line but method is great because she needs to trust that when I give her a line that even if it's a long ways out there there's a bird at the end that I know what I'm doing she knows what she's doing because we are a team right girl well now okay easy Mark. Back. back 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 she might have just passed it oh I don't know how she missed it. Oh, she just smelled it. There she goes. Good girl. Good. That's part of her knowing there's something out there. Good girl. Oh, that's good work. Come around. Up. Up. Come around. No bird. Good. Sit. Sit. Okay. So those long retrieves are just as important as the short, close ones. She's got to trust that I know there's a bird out there when I let her go. Oh, you 
it, it's okay. Good. Oh, you want your dummy, don't you? Okay. Good girl. Oh, you're going to worry it. So she likes to worry it too, but um, again, it's about joy, so I don't try to hit her with too much discipline if she's doing her job. Here you go. Come around. Come around. Up. Not a second bird out there. Not a second bird out there. Here you go. So I don't like her running off. So what am I doing? I'm hitting her with a, a tone. Good. Come around. Up. Come around. Up. Come around. Up. My bird. Here, girl. Here, girl. Come on. Hand, hand, hand. There we go. Good. Good. Oh, that's good work. That's good work. So, um, now let's move on to just longer ones where she sees it. Because the final thing I'm trying to do is, this is, as you can see, a high energy dog. I need to wear her ass out or she'll eat the house and eat me. Um, she's not, oh, I don't know, on, on a good night, if, if, if I don't give her a workout, she'll try to have me throw the tennis ball in the house um, 50 or 100 times and it gets old. So um, I got to wear her out before I bring her home, right? <laughs> Uh, honestly, this drill is more about wearing her out and getting her to be used to functional uh, changes in geography. Okay, my bird. Sit. Sit. My bird, Deb. Okay. So we're going to do five or ten of these, and I can't tell you how important it is to know your dog. Um, what you're trying to do is exhaust this animal to the point where she's had a good workout, but keep it completely fun and don't make it so hard that it's not joyful for the dog. This this needs to be the best part of her day. So that's my number one thing. Again, joy. This is the best part of her day. And she doesn't get to see me all day. So, um, you know, just like us, you come home, it's nice to interact with somebody who's nice and kind and all those other good things. All right, you ready, girl? We're gonna work hard. We're gonna work hard. Yeah, I've been working hard. Not by your standards. Everybody else thinks you're working hard, but I know you're not. Okay, ready? Mark. Okay, so she saw that one. My only concern now is this ditch is like, right here, it's about six feet deep. I don't want to injure her. So, um, I gotta trust her, but also be careful. I don't see any sticks that she could get impaled on. She's as likely as not just gonna jump this ditch and go like a banshee, which is fine. Uh, but again, like a two to four year old human, my onus, my job is to make sure she's safe at all times. Okay, ready now? Mark. Bing. There she goes. So that's a great jump, just like a horse. Good girl, good. Good girl, all the way, all the way. Come on, come on. Good girl, there you go, good, good. Come here, hand, hand, hand. My bird, my bird, good, sit. Okay, okay, good girl. All right, so we're basically done. Um, the trick with these dogs, here girl, come on, sit. Okay, she still got bright eyes. I still got 100% of her attention and She's panning and her tongue is out, but she's not um, distressed. When when dogs are getting worn out, they, they start to really open their mouth wide like a whale, and they'll start to get saliva and stuff. That's when heat or too much work is distressing her. So she's still bright-eyed. She's still working hard. Um, but I know she's getting a little tired now. So let's do one final one, girl. Huh? Is this the last one? Look at you doing such good work today. Uh-huh. Look at you. And I, I do the little talk in between just so she knows that I'm I'm pleased. Dogs can smell and sense your behavior. Okay, last one, huh? Mark. All right, she's got a good mark. I know she's tired, but she's still working hard. Bing. She's off. Good girl. Isn't that amazing? The amount of energy and strength and stamina that dog has. She's already done this 10 or 15 times. 
Good girl. We're done. My bird. My bird. My bird. My bird. There you go. Good. Sit. Okay. Guess what? We are all done. Huh? Are we all done? Well now. Well now. So the thing that I'm most happy to see is here we are done. She's watching me completely. She still wants to do more retrieves, so I know I've left my audience wanting more. And um, now what I like to do at the end of every training session is give her a swim to cool off. That's again, it's joyful. And she knows, hey, we're done with the work, boss. Now let's have a little bit of fun, right? Huh? Are we going to go have some fun? Take a swim in the creek? Okay. Why don't we just do that right now? Uh, okay. Show everybody how we finish up. Okay. We're done training, aren't we, girl? Sit. So this is my absolute favorite part of ending a training session. And that is just go let her have some extra, extra fun. All right. Cool. No, she knows I have a dummy, so she's not going to go swimming. At home, I have a kiddie pool that I fill up with really cold water in the summertime. Um, but she's not going to go in the creek without a dummy in there. Okay, Mark. All right, now I know she's going to get a swim, and that's going to cool her off. And she's going to say, whoa, boy, that was fun, Dad. Let's go do that again. Finn! Good girl. Oh, there you go. That'll pull you right off. Good. Good girl. You ready? Sit. All right, we're going to do one more just to make sure you get a real good swim. Mark. You ready? Mark. Let that go all the way to the other side of the creek, girl. Oh. Again, it's like a human on Red Bull and cocaine. She does not take her eye off that dummy. Finn! There you go. And that'll cool her off and then leave her wanting more. So, you did great today, girl. Huh? Did you do great today? That's what we call a good training session for the girl. Huh? Sit. Okay, so now on the ride home, I know she's wet. I know she's cooled off. And that's another thing to just help tire the dog out. And it's as likely as not on the ride home, she'll just pass out. Have good doggy dreams, won't you, girl? Okay. 